Yo, this your boy Jesley One with Nike SB video. Uh, I'm gonna do this video on like, one of my favorite SBs. Hold on, it's like fucking texting me. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> anyways, on to the video. Bam! Black and purple box. Blah, 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 blah. These are one of my favorite SBs. Really, really nice. I need to get the laces. Wait. Alright. So, Brian Anderson's. Size nine and a half. Picked them up a while ago. I've had them for a long time. Uh, one of my favorite shoes. One of my favorite shoes to wear. They come with orange laces. Also, they come with an orange bumper. You get those, you know, when you buy the shoes. You get the orange bumper with the orange laces. It also comes in a, a Nike SB bag. But anyways, alright, so let me get into the shoe. First off, we got a gum bottom. Really nice. Olive midsole. We got the olive nubuck around the toe box. Up the eyelids. Down and following its way to the back. Really, really smooth. Really, really smooth. Um, we have this, like, I'm thinking it's, like, canvas. We have, like, this canvas material following its way under the eyelids. And through the mid panel and also on the toe box and it's like a camo army print whatever um you got the orange leather well it looks like a tumble leather but i'm not sure but it's like an orange leather you know nike swoosh and uh you got the orange inner linings with the orange bordering the tongue and uh the olive background with the orange nike sb uh with the orange stitching on the tongue also that's actually my first time actually noticing that but um, these shoes, uh, I'm thinking like I can't remember the exact date, but I think it's like all six. But um, another thing is the insole. There's a like a, a guy in there who looks like he's doing karate, and uh, he has a a belt on, and on the belt it says it says SF SF stands for San Francisco. That's where Brian Anderson was living when these is out. I don't know where he lives now. You know, I ain't no stalker or anything. Um. He's one of my favorite, well, not, I'm not going to say favorite skateboarders, but, you know, he's one of the GS skateboarders to me because he's from Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. He's a GS skater, but I'm not a GS skater, so don't get it confused. Anyways, so, you know, this shoe is really, really nice. I don't really know the exact inspiration behind it. You know, when I catch up with Brian Anderson, I'll ask him. But, um, yeah, it's one of my favorite SBs just because they're really simple and I there's something about olive that's been attracting me lately so I'm, I'm big on them but anyways yeah it shouldn't be too hard to pick up nowadays um, you know if you're looking for your size you can look on soul collector or the NSB uh, form probably find them uh, I got them for $75 so I'm really excited uh, met up with a guy about six months ago picked them up no problem and uh, they actually were my size. You know, I don't really get luck like that nowadays. But you know, they feel real nice. The only problem that there is is that you will get a little slight creasing on the toe box. It's kind of hard to see. But the toe box will crease just a little bit. But, you know, that's not a big deal. So, it's Brian Anderson's. I also have uh, a deal that I'm going to finalize tomorrow. I picked up a pair of Miller Highlights for cheap. Really cheap. When I was in ambush, that 97 is not what I paid. So, and they're size nine, and I don't even waste time with size nine, but I couldn't avoid the deal. But um, Miller highlights, size nine. I don't like them because the thin tongue. That's you know a turn off for me. But I do like the inner walls, and it looks like kind of like bubbles, you know, for beer. And uh, I like the perforated holes on the front. On the toe box, and I like the check, and the red bottom like really does like the shoe is just all around like perfect. Man, if they would throw a fat tongue on these, these would definitely be like one of my favorite shoes out of the blue box era. But um, yeah, I'm gonna trade these for a pair of uh, vanilla ice blazers, and uh, I'm kind of off blazers, but I don't know. It just depends on how I how I feel about them when I see them, and how they feel when I put them on foot. They feel on point when I keep putting my foot 
Nine times out of ten, I'm still not going to keep him. But, um, you know. I already told my boy Heart and Souls, whose link will be in the description, uh, that I'll probably just give him to him. I know he picked his girl up a pair. So, you know, he might try to just, you know, be on that shit. So he can rock him with his girl, you know what I'm saying. But anyways, so this is your boy JSLate1. This is my fifth Nike SB video. This did not count. This is just, you know, just throwing it in there. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I still got a few more videos that I, I need to do. I've just been procrastinating. I still need to do my video on the LeBron South Beaches. And I still need to do a few more Nike SB videos that I've been pushing off. And, you know, so if you, you're looking forward to seeing that stuff, just stay tuned and I'll definitely have it for you. All right, so you should rate, comment, and subscribe if you got the time or if you feel like it. And check out my boy Heart and Souls. His link will be in the description. Also, I want to give a shout out to my boy Brandon Revere. He, he's been getting a lot of shout outs lately between me and Heart and Souls. But um, he actually wants a pair of the Brian Andersons. And he has a really big foot. So, you know, it's kind of harder to find things in his size nowadays. So hopefully he finds them. But all right, sorry, man, for keeping up so much time. So you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Jay Slate 1P.